good morning everyone uh, my name is lokeshwar kesham i will be talking your economy banking and monetary policy related topics first of all let me clarify you something about this economy and economics and the thing is that generally uh, people used to have used to have this uh, perception that economic like uh, because especially in the case of manipur uh, economic economics yes nowadays uh, the time is changing and the number of students taking economics have increased significantly but in my times in my beds uh, forget about this in my beds the number of people who used to take economics yamna low way adu kimatik low way aduna financial literacy hai wo word si yamna low way manipur da yes you might be educated uh, lots of people might be educated the human resource in manipur might be the one of the greatest in nordis to bodo bo in terms of financial literacy da yamna low way that is why economic che yamba matanda especially in manipur we think that we think that actually yamna uh, tough way wo subject ni hai na khan ba ma adum lai uh, but that is not that's a myth that's a myth another thing is that and a quick central services if you are going to appear for the, any kind of uh, uh, central jobs any kind of central job nowadays even in manipur also yes manipur ki kitang haiba ngamdre maram di we don't have this systematically exam to ba sima kitang wat pani na i cannot talk about this manipur but in case of any kind of this uh, SSC examination or CPF examination, etc., banking related examination, etc., economy is compulsory. Okay, economy is compulsory. Why? Uh, forget about that. Even in during this uh, UPSC examination, the, the number of question comes from economy side, yum yummy, very high. So nowadays, it's not high subject, high but nowadays. Economics ki importance hai. Matu ki hai. So in the future also, because you guys are going to appear examination a lot. Examination, ma'am, appear to go even no much to So you will realize that what I'm saying right now. I in high what say market. Because when you appear for about three, four, five continuous years, appear to the, the number of uh, question asked in the economy will significant significantly increase. Ni. And here in our IBML Academy, the, we will back you up. Uh, even after the end of our course, lower level, matum the bahu da ekoi ki economy ki sarukta every subject kuthi matki back to kani until and unless my amna exam thari gay power of power dribau wa ekoi ekoi na back to kani. Anyway, that is uh, having said that, as I told you, uh, I will be taking your economy, especially uh, we uh, we will be focusing in the monetary related policy, especially ekoi ki. I am not aware of examination. Specifically, I am not examination. I am not aware of the because we are different. And uh, GFC, as you know, it's a foundation course. And uh, my case is SSC examination or MBA, or it may be even an entrance examination or whatever it may be. There are some basics are there about economics which we have to do. Like for example, first of all, people don't understand what do you mean by economics. Economy, how about economics? How about this? Yeah, I'm not confusion. Hey, please, sir. Economics, how about word? Chiga. Economy, how about word? Chiga. Have to be friends. Hey, can't bring up. I'm here to tell you. Actually, we will do that. As I told you, we will do one by one. Now, uh, when we talk about the term economics and economy, how about this? Yeah, I'm not saying that. Yes. Han ba? If we give. Economics have a subject, economics China, Maze, origin Way back, let me tell you the backstory of this economics. Among the economics, it begins from 18th century. Oh, yes, specifically, uh, formally, the writing of economics begins from 18th century. Maduna Kaba, unwritten in the letter, Magi, you know, concept of it that backs many years ago. So even if it is 18th century, we go to so Now you can safely say that uh, this is one of the newest subjects. Okay, subjects in our new we go subject. Now I know we go to guide. So economics, formally in 18th century, the middle high go to our 1776. We matam da how we to be specific. We na high go to our go to 1776. The like I'm a phone. High level like this. That books becomes the foundation of economics that we have. Yes, yes, we are talking about the year 776, more than 300 years ago from now. 
So the thing is that when we talk about this 1776, why it is so important? Before 1776, the concept of economics was not in a formal written way. But uh, after this 1776, the, the concept of economics as a whole now changes to formal study. Formal in a study to how it. In this year, 1776, there was a person called Adam Smith. He is known as the father of economics. Let me repeat. He is known as the father of economics. Father of economics. He is known as the father of economics. Father of economics. Adam. The thing is that Adam Smith even matanda the term economics have why he is sujinate directly sujinate ke shu. Rather than that, economics ki idea do di the he led the foundation the basic foundation of economics to di mana pata na tholomi. That is why he is known as the father of economics. Actually, you can Google this. Me amse loer matung da Google to ucho thi ucho. Mane even like to asem badi. The the exact mumming ashen which carry kauge hai matanda. It's a little bit long, and inquiry into the in inquiry into the nature and causes of nature and causes of the wealth of the nation. Aru ibigisa wealth of the nations. Masigi, Aru Ibigisha, sit on Google Tong. You can Google this last phrase, wealth of the nation, then you will find about this. Okay. So, this wealth of the nation is such a monumental works in terms of economics, so much so that formal study of earlier, imagine that. Imagine that before 1776, there was no such subject as economics. So, with the, with, the written, with the writing of this book, with the publication of this book called Wealth of the Nation, this single book led to the introduction of a whole new subject if it was not for this wealth of the nation book then there will not be economics but the thing is that if you can imagine a new world without economics then it's just like dividing a particular number by zero it doesn't make any sense in a modern world existence of a country depends on economics First World War, Second World War, to the land, but it is says that in the Third World War, there will not be a single sword fired. It will be just economy. Economy the land. This is exactly what is happening right now. USA, or okay, I'm just saying this, um, I cannot give this as a can win high there, but USA to some extent, they always try to destroy somebody's economy. They don't like Venezuela. I suppose you know the case of this Venezuela, beginning from 2017 onwards, 2017, 18, 19, especially this year, Venezuela collapsed. Venezuela, I have to say, world, uh, Venezuela is a Latin American country, South American country. Latin American, South American country, Venezuela, say, this country is the second largest oil reserve in the world. We the oil reserve quite a but second position the country. High river countries, yeah, because of their political viewpoints, there is uh, some, you know, uh, differences between USA and Venezuela. I'll give the difference later. Because of that, USA government intentionally, they, yes, I cannot, as I told you, I'm just telling you what, uh, you know, though I, this is my personal opinion. That is why, because USA do not like this Venezuelan government, they simply destroy their economy. Not single a fire. Bullet them fire to the bidder, they simply collapse the economy of Venezuela and Venezuela collapse. Aduna, nowadays in the modern world, especially the, in this 20th century and 21st century, don't forget more powerful is the economy. Economy is in a powerful way, it is not the guns and artillery. No. So, in this Adam Smith, well of the nation, I suppose by now you know the significance of economics. Now, when he started the idea of economics in this world of the nation, actually, his idea is regarding, as the name suggests, regarding the creation of wealth in a country. Country of the Karam Haina wealth create over So basically, in this world of the nation, that um, that Adam Smith is talking about how an economy, that, that time he, he didn't say economy. How a country is creating wealth. When he says, well, uh, yes, economic asset, we are referring to the economic asset. But for the time being, uh, we are not. 
we are not done uh, microphone of the vehicle okay cannot talk drug the yam eco sale uh so uh, we are talking about the economic asset but uh, yes we are not done with this the meaning of economic asset and etc so simply i will be talking about asset only as it is but as i've told you if we go to the normal classes in class of Bhumatam, the D, we will explain all these things so when we talk about the wealth of the nation we are talking about okay we are simply talking about how assets are created in an economy how assets are multiplied in an economy that's what we are, we are talking about no. anyway so let's talk a little bit about the the idea of what do you mean by wealth of the nation in according to adam smith what is the idea of economics the idea is that you have a machine so let's talk about a uh, uh, little bit idea about this uh, adam smith adam smith ki idea se mti yin chi now actually yes i could give real economics how they actually our economics will start the real economics will start from monday onwards i mean uh, if we if i have the first class uh, we will have that now i'm going to tell you something which is extremely important yes ours is just a quick you can only uh this is not a full class i know that but i'm going to tell you something this is so important you can remember this for your rest of your life until you appear examination even after appearing examination this is very important the basic problem of every economy it's not about economics even a problem of a person also me am a person am a problem has to be solved now see me am the problem to it yes similarly we have problem to a person also individual level the to kadum haina we also have problem in the economy level also at the entire nation level national level also what is that problem problem se kari no this question can be asked in different way different way that equally rise to way for example in a, a more of philosophical way we can ask like this equation minor philosophical way am this minor higher sphere why human being have problem as of today this is philosophical i know i know this question is little bit philosophical i can ask this question like this why human being we human being have problems equally problem raise kari gi no yes this is very philosophical but from economics point of view the yeng ba matamda okay the econo from economics point of view the yeng matamda we have a definite answer for that forget about your philosophy behavior etc forget about all those things from economics point of view we have a definite answer why human being have problem okay as i told you this is very interesting why it is i mean what is the what is the root cause of having problem equal problem raise kari gi no because of two reason one reason is that i think it desire say we have unlimited desire this is the number one desire is a limit to we remember like for example if i get 1000 rupees per day and i'm satisfied with that there should not be any problem if you are satisfied with the, the living condition of you right now you should have any problem you should not have any problem me am a problem raise kari gi no have a target the our desire say unlimited way me am a job am a phangani job to phanga matung da a promotion ge hona rakani after that promotion he will try to be become more powerful he will be in the uh, administration etc we our desire keeps on desire say limit to be yadi nam sal laga thambi yadi first but i told you there are two conditions are there actually one ko to give the guide what is the second reason why we have problem as of only this is philosophical but we are giving this the philosophical questions answer in a more definitive way roman number the first reason why we have problem is unlimited desire second problem is that see there are some resources are there which tries to fulfill our desire for example we have some resources as of only i'm giving the example of the uh, personal level and the economy level let me give you at the uh, uh, personal level first see i do not have any limit to my desire no i don't have it honestly i don't have it you don't have it all of us don't have it now if we do not have limit to our desire for example i have 1000 rupees tomorrow i will want to i will definitely want to earn more than 1000 rupees if i earn 1100 rupees tomorrow i may be okay okay is for 2 3 days but after that i will definitely want to earn more than that one day or another surely 
or it may be in terms of consumption or it may be in terms of buying something i want to buy a car i want to buy a suv like that but the desire that un my unlimited desire to fulfill my unlimited desire okay there are very limited resources out here so second reason is that we have very much limited resource to fulfill our desire see masidani in in different subject they they use to interpret in different way but in economics we always try to interpret in a definitive way so that we can quantify it so that we can study it study to na ba quantify to na na ba to ba ya ba mong da ikoi study to economics ko na now we all have problem at the national level at the personal level forever that problem ki root ko si kari no hai na muni yeng ba ta raga di because our desire is unlimited at the personal level yes we can apply to ourselves at the national level definitely we were underdeveloped we are developing we want to be a developed country even if we are at the developed country at the stage of developed country then we will look for another alternative to increase more of our growth like that we have unlimited desire on the other hand that resources to fulfill our desire is very much limited limited way that is why these two high river high river region and these are the two reasons why every economy have problem every person living on this country have problem including you including you i can say it safely you can apply to yourself think very carefully as i've told you it may be a little bit philosophical but that is the, this is the definite answer why we have problem problem is you know have the machine but as I've told you, Adam Smith ki matang chide chida. Adam Smith ki hujik ki lairik share. Ayin hujik ee ba lairik to. Madhu mayam. Yes, the, yes, I don't know about you. Uh, uh, fortunate, unfortunately, I koi ki class e online class oi bunina face to face oi bunava thangre. Offline class oi raga. So even if it is online or offline, I don't know how many of you take economics in class 11 to level or the graduation level. Kya am lo bunu hai ba ita shegna khangde. So the thing is that, <coughs> Economics low regadi, sigi like Sunjo Shudana Paramgani. Yes, not in the class 11 12 level. Karigumba at the graduation level, if you took economics or if you are taking economics, then definitely you must have come across this well of the nation. Sunjo Shudana Paramgani, this is compulsory for all student economics. Student of economics. Anyway, Hi Riba Adam Smith ki idea da economics se karino hai bashe. Let's look from the viewpoint of the Adam Smith. Adam Smith ki point of view ki yeng se. Let's try comparing the how economics is interpreted for, from one in one economist to another economist. Let's try it. According to Adam Smith, okay. According to Adam Smith, okay. I'm writing the definition of economics according to Adam Smith. Okay. Now, according to Adam Smith, he says that economics is nothing. It is the I'm writing in a little bit so <clears throat> economics is the study of study of wealth it is the science of study of wealth may i exactly address this absolutely because ours is not a normal class so when we come to the normal class we will do it very thoroughly but for us i could use the orientation class even now i'm giving you a little bit idea about what is economics economics is the study of wealth and height this is not exact definition exact definition for not okay what does it mean is that this Adam Smith Harry person Jina at the very early stage of economics. At the very early stage of economics, we were talking about economics as a study of wealth and nothing else. According to him, okay, according to him. Mana Harry say economics karino. Economics hai basa lantum mani puri the hardy lantum hai neko. Economics hai jaya lantum ki matang the study to budni. This is a uh, subject that we talk about the study of wealth. Well, Kimatang the study to Budri and Hibernate. Almost everyone who did not take economics will say that this is correct. Yes, this is correct. Economics is supposed to be that one. That is correct. Yamna Landa misconception Amale, Eko Manipuri Singimarakta, among us, common sense, the Hibatare, actually. Uh, this common people, because they don't know much about this economics, they always think that economics is nothing but related with money yes that is correct 
Economics is related with money. That is what that is exactly what Adam Smith says in his definition that this is the study of wealth. Yes, I'm not denying the fact that Adam Smith gives emphasis to the study of wealth. I'm not denying that. But once you go through this economics itself, you will realize how many evolution have taken place. Beginning from 1776 to the 19th century, there was a train of economics. But during the early stage of 20th century, there was a new branch of economics coming up. In the middle of the 20th, 20th century, again, a new branch of economics comes up. Similarly, as our economics grows from evolution, takes place from one stage to the another stage, we always have a different iteration of this definition of economics. But forget about that. If I ask to you, because we ours is not a quick normal class with the Nina, it may not be that much interactive with the yeah, In my normal class, it will be interactive. You will have to give me answer. Definitely. If you don't, then I will cannot uh, make it compulsory for you to do that. Even I will, I'm going to give you homeworks. Because ma'am job how the are What is economics? I'm asking a question to you. You don't need to tell me. Let me guess it. What is economics? Obviously. What the hell is going on? Answer is already here. This is a study of wealth. But I do not want you to remember my work. Word che mark toxilagotamo, mark my word that economics was emphasis at it. Economics was defined as a study of wealth. I'm not denying. But nowadays, economics is not about study of wealth only. The study of economics touches almost every nooks and corners of our entire human beings his, uh, subjects. We can study about the wealth, yes. We can study about the population, that is also economics. Okay. We can study about the geographical impact of the uh, uh, to the country, to the economy, that is also a part of the economy. We do have this political economy. Those who have political science, political economy, we have different subject. I mean, different branch of economics. So what I'm trying to say is that in the year 1776, when it was defined, when economics was defined as a study of this wealth, it was correct with emphasis at that. Why it was correct? Because the idea of economics, when he defined here, was very much limited. Nowadays, okay, nowadays, the idea of the idea of economics have ranged so much in the last about 350 years, about 350 years, the evolution of economics have taken place many, many, many times. Okay, those things we will do in our normal class. A quick normal class. But whatever it is, you should understand by now that the basic idea, the basic foundation of economics have already been laid down by Adam Smith. Adam Smith has already foundation there. And he is one of the greatest economists in the world. And that is why he's known as the father of economics. I tell you something about this evolution. Evolution in Matanga, I told you something about this evolution. See, we were talking about the year 1776. 1776 in Matanga, in Harrison. So, 1920s in Matanga, in the year 1920s, oh, wait, 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 something comes up. 1920s have a wise head, Hyder Matanga. I suppose to some extent, some of you, I'm not saying all of you, but some of you must understand, must rem, rem, remind you something of about 1920s. 1920s, what is that? Great Depression. Yes, Great Depression. How Great Depression happened? Why Great Depression happened? Hi, Riva. I guess everything will be defined, explained in economics. It will be defined, explained in economics. Actually, this Great Depression is so significant. There are two schools of economics are there which are divided by this Great Depression. Great Depression of 1920s divide the whole study of economics into two groupings. Grouping Pre-1920s, branch of economics are there. That is known as classical economics. 
On the other hand, after 1920s, a new group of economists, a new school of economics, a new thought of economics comes up. So post 1920s, there is a new branch of economics, study of economics that is known as different names are there, but this is known as the modern economics. Actually, um, this modern economics is also known as a sovereign economics. This is also known as a Keynesian economics. Lots of names are there just for us. Aduna, these events are very, very important. Yeah, important way. You might be uh, you might be wondering that 1920s the Tokyo Biduna that's an economic crisis. Yes, obviously you know that why this is different. I mean, why 1920s differentiate the study of economics into classical and modern? You might be asking this. May I'm showing the hanging on the there is a definite as I've told you, there is a, a explanation for this. Actually, <clears throat> this classical economics is the economics started by the Adam Smith. Adam Smith, Hariba Mission Hogombado. That economics is what we call classical economics. On the other hand, after 1920s, to be specific, in the year 1936, okay, in the year 1936, a book was published. Okay. A book was published by John Maynard Keynes. J. M. Keynes had even passed in a book from a published story. In that book, the idea of economics is redefined just opposite to the classical. Classical economics is not defined or Madhuji opposite the idea. The idea of economics is now just 180 degree change. That is known as modern economics. This is N, not M, the last one. Okay. Actually, then you might be asking which one is correct. Which one is correct? Either modern economics is correct or the cl uh, classical economics is correct. Both of them are. Both of them are correct. Adima Gloichumit. This modern economics is applicable in sovereign economics, very sovereign period of time. For example, if we if we think about the economic behavior of an entity, when I say entity, it may be a businessman. It may be your father, the, your father have some income. The way your father spend money can be studied from modern economics point of view and classical point of view. study the way. So that is why. All of them are correct. But which one is more applicable? Hyper question. Hangbat Aragadi, more of them are applicable. How then? Modern, modern economics is applicable for short term economics. On the other hand, classical economics is applicable for long term purposes. Long term, it's about 10 years, 20 years, 3, 4, 5 years. On the other hand, modern economics, this is applicable for about one year, five, three, four months, like that, two months, I mean, sorry, three years, like that, for very modern period, short period. So, if you again ask, how do you differentiate between long term and short term? Long term ka short term ka karam hai na differentiate to we have a target in order to answer that we need to do lots of ideas called the factors of production. You might be saying the factors of production is very simple, but in this factors of production, we have variable factor and a fixed factor hidden on the We will be depending on the definition of this variable factor and the fixed factor to differentiate between modern economics and classical economics. Ani se differentiate tongna bo matamda. High diva variable factor and fixed factor do understand the biyate. But we do we are not going to do that today. Nasito we are we cannot do that. But this is definitely you have to understand if you are appearing examination for banking related examination. Banking examination appeared to Gabbat Argadi. This uh, variable and fixed factor is compulsory. Okay, Madhung later. But as I've told you, our session introduction, I'm giving you the ideas what we are going to do. I quick carry to go, you know, have the Madhu Kotani. Uh, detail, detail we will begin from Monday. I think I have class from Monday onwards. So we will begin from Monday. So, okay. So, economics have a set of minor horror key habit of my hype economy. Matangana mo economics to carry carry include to go to know what are the things that we are going to include. Actually, let's talk about the Atopa, ma'am, can on the Let's let me tell you some uh, definitions of economics. Economics definition. We know the first definition of economics. What is that? Economics, according to Adam Smith, says that this is the science of study of wealth. That was the first definition. Perhaps the first definition may not be applicable right now. Was it applicable? 
Well, it's a kari gino hai matanda because economic study not only wealth but lots of other different areas. Maduna tabra. Atopa nipa amalai economist amagalai, he is known as Lionel Robbins. Actually, hai nipa nipa sa. Yes, uh, my principal of economics in the year 1950 ki matamda, he used to publish an article. So I cannot tell you the exact year in which this definition was given by Lionel Robbins because that article was published for about two, three years continuously. Why? Hujikan the article ama pong hai vise amurak aniyakta pong atongna re dunko. Matam dikyo na they used to publish for about two, three years continuously. Yam na chahi pui na matam chang na tobi ani. Aduna that is why I cannot give you an exact year for this for this definition. Definition chhi exact year pibe the yadre. Lionel Robbins na mana piram definition do. Okay, ours is not a normal class. Even though I am going to write the exact definition of economics according to Lionel Robbins. This is a little bit tricky. Understand the kitten tricky way, but I will explain it. Don't worry. Okay, I economics say it had a most elegant. It is the study of human behavior. As a relationship between ENDS and and scarce resources, scarce resources, which have alternative uses. May I message? Why try to do that? May I am going to go to board? The idea should be to guide. But in case if you are going to join our class, equity class, and formally join to go to board, the write this down. Have alternative uses. Seriously, class, yeah, we're going to be going to be Yeah, we're going to be yes. It is from Kashuk to Kashuk. Yes, it's up to you. But this is so important. This is the definition of economics. Okay, this is the definition of economics, which is considered to be most accepted definition till now. Okay, till now. This is why. Adu na na ayda may amde ishalu in high se. Nasi ba wuda different economics definitions were there. Uh, yes, if you Google the definition of economics, you will find more than 20, 30 and a pangani. I'm not writing all those things. I'm writing only those which are important. This definition of economics, according to Lionel Ravens, is most accepted definition till now. Why do you have an accepted definition? But you know, because if you look this definition, you will find lots of interesting stuff. Like, Economics is the study of human behavior. See, see, see. May I am not telling that the economics has a passion. Who's having money? Like, about banking or related, etc., etc. You might be thinking a lot about that. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, to some extent that is correct. But you know, economics is also actually economics also study lot more than that. Just banking and money and etc. Actually, economics study human behavior, my behavior. This is not psychology. This is not philosophy. But we economics study human behavior. Then you might be wondering, then what is the use? What is the use of study, studying the human behavior? Actually, we study human behavior. What kind of human behavior? Behavior, behavior of a person when he have very limited resources. Let me give you this example of resources. Let's take the example of money. I don't know how much kya hai jige. 500 rupees, just an example. I'm taking just an example here. Let's say that you have rupees 500 rupees and high river 500 rupees here. This resource is very, very scarce also. You don't, you do not have unlimited resource. No, 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 no. I could give you a little bit of money. I could give you a little bit of money. I could give you a little bit of money. Always you have a limit. Limit is higher than a little bit. Might be you have money, might be you have a coal mine, no yeah, parents ki coal mine at the atom layer. But whatever it is, the resource that you have is very scarce, means very limited. Scarce means limited. Okay. The thing is that I have a behavior. I'm the person here. 
I'm the person here who have this money in my pocket. I give pocket the lupa chamanga yaru ka lady nip. Hi, the lupa chamanga se. Shizin na na bagi tamakta. I have unlimited alternative uses. Alternative uses le. Like what is my desire? My desire is to buy a car. Is to buy a phazaba uh, pen. For me, I like uh, I go in a pen collection. Ji am pa mi. Or it may be buying a notebook. Or it may be buying a beautiful T-shirt. It may be buying etc. 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 Lots of lots of lots of alternative uses are there. So what about this unlimited desire? Sing sha. Fulfill loy na to buti yagdra. Definitely answer is no. What I'm saying is that a person have limited resource. That limited resource can be used to purchase to fulfill a very limited amount of my desire. But my desire is unlimited. I have unlimited desire. I have very limited resource. This limited resource can be used to fulfill only fraction of my desire. Only a fraction of my desire. That means, imagine that. Just I'm taking an example here. For example, among all these alternative uses, if I spend my money to buy sir, I have to sacrifice all other alternative. Ato po alternative singdo. I sacrifice to botaba. See, we are in the dilemma. We are now, right now, we are in the dilemma. What is that? I in a pamidi parin sana igi mutsi the list to go later. Asom salakanda dukanam uro as dukanda le ma poram sulading gadoni. I know what phone I'm allowed, phone is lending it, laptop is lending it, car is lending it, bike is lending it, car is lending it, car is lending it. But the problem is that my unlimited desires, in order to fulfill my unlimited desire, I have very limited resource, only 500 rupees. If I use this 500 rupees in the fulfilling of a particular desire only, all the rest of the desire are to be sacrificed. So you are at the dilemma. Nam dilemma ne. Aduna. Every person. I'm saying every person, including you, every person have our own set of behavior. I could give behavior only. My behavior will be different from your different your desire. Uh, I mean, sorry, behavior. Your behavior will be different from your siblings' behavior. What is that? I go in a dico. Karamain Kangani. Using this 500 rupees, I pay in the Karanauzi. Hazabas of a pay in the Karanauzi. Aduna. I pay in a Toka Horaganda. Lemo Pashadro can not only. Karam the gay, eh, PNI to the Lupa Mangapi, but Rapi won't let us see. Adu Saruta, say, can not see Sardama Lehuji and a Sardam like him. Not Ragana Kaino, some of the Kurapams about mean or the table will let Hoka get higher than a talk high gives. So that means every person have a set of behavior which is different from another person. We economics study that behavior. What is that behavior? We study the behavior of a person, the behavior of an economy, how that person, how that economy fulfills his desire with his limited resource. Magi limited resources, Sijin Narakanda, unlimited desire, Shinduki Marata, Karam Karam, fulfilled to Bage, Haibudo. That behavior of a person is studied in economics. So, this is what exactly. In this definition says, it says that it is the study of human behavior. Example, human behavior have different. Human behavior as a relationship between N, cybersy, our N objective, hypotony, E and the N objective. And then scarce resources. As I've told you, scarce resources already we we already said that. Aduna, aina pami ba potuga. I in a palm, even desire to fulfill Tanganaba resources to Madu resources to so alternative uses of Musuleba. Alternative uses Leva, I give limited resource to Aduna, I give end single desire, single karam hina fulfill Tahun Bage, Hibado. That is the human behavior, and we study that human behavior. See how how vast is the meaning. Aduna, this definition seems very simple, but in reality, we are talking about the basic problem of a person the basic problem of every economy that pays and we study that problem we study that problem this is why this definition of economics is considered as most accepted definition of economics till now be careful with this okay as i've told you uh, if you are going to join the class from monday onwards we will do this again uh, yes at that time we will do a lot 
So this will be the most accepted definition of economics. Don't forget, okay, term of the isalo ge, hairam ge isalo. Hairam definition of economics. Yeah. This definition of economics is known as scarcity definition of economics. Hairam ge khangne. Don't forget this. Mamang ito hairam ge. The first one, the, the, the first definition that I gave you, Ahan, by in a big definition, the Hiram Dre. Definition given by Adam Smith. Okay, if you have notebook right now, it's a low but argadiko. The definition that I gave you earlier one is known as the well definition, Hiram Kame. And the definition given by this Lionel Robbins is known as scarcity definition, Hiram Kame. Scarcity definition is what we accepted the most. Why again accepted OBC? Uh, Lionel Rovinsky scarcity definition. So, why? Don't forget that. Masiki Matunda. Masiki Matunda. In the early 20th century. Uh, yes, let's come to 20th century. Yes. In the early 20th century, the, again, there is a new school of economics comes up. And in that branch of economics, especially for us, for those who are appearing examination, those who are appearing examination, as an Indian, all of us are Indian, I know. For us, that last part of definition, uh, the last definition, the third definition that I'm going to give is important for us. It will be an important way. But you know, why is that? Why I'm saying this? We have two Nobel laureates. It will be Indian origin economics. See, India got five Nobel Prize till now. Out of those five, okay, five se kitang kai hai dono khang purely Indian oina phang badi ahung khatani ko. But let's say that there are five Nobel Prize are there that India got. Out of that five, two are economics. Ani ye madhi economics ne. I suppose you know that. Yes, Indian origin hai gadra. The first Amrit Sen hai bandi pas hai. 1997 the mana am okay Amrit Sen. Amrita Sen Hari Banipasina, Ahanba Nobel Prize, Economist Ki first Nobel Prize for India, Pango Matanda. What is the branch of economics? See, yes, you know, yes, let's start how these people ask in examination. Question Jakara Mahina, SSC na, not again, it may be SSC or CDS or whatever, banking or IBPS, whatever. How they ask question? There are certain ways are there they use to ask question. For example, Everybody knows the full form. Full form the Shungang Hangaroi. So this kind of question, like people generally miss those points which people generally miss, they will definitely ask. They also know that. Question Shemi ba person do not regana institution do. They know that these are the points that person, a person particular, a, especially the aspirant, used to miss generally. Adu Khangir. Adu Mai Tagdana. We everybody knows that who is Amrita Sen? Amrita Sen is the one who got Nobel Prize as an Indian. Okay, he is no longer Indian. He is an Indian origin nowadays. Amrita Sen, the current batch, the Nobel Prize for me. Everybody knows that, but nobody knows. I mean, I cannot say nobody. Most people ignore the fact that in his branch of economics or in his study of economics, he got Nobel Prize. Karamba economics ki branch ta karamba topic ta study to matam da ma Nobel Prize phangi abhi karam ta nikshin ke. Adu maayin tog dana. Okay, I'm asking, asking you the same question. In which study of economics, in which branch of economics, uh, the Nobel Prize, I mean, Amit Sen got Nobel Prize. Karam ayin karamba area da no, hai bata arga di. Don't forget, that is known as welfare economics. So the area or area where he got Nobel Prize is for welfare economics. Don't forget this. So Amrita, go, Amrita Sen got Nobel Prize in economics. Everybody knows that. To be specific, whose branch of economics, whose area of economics, welfare economics. Don't forget this. Okay. Actually, in the early 20th century, 19, okay, I'm just writing, okay, no, in the 1900s, I didn't know that. Actually, it's my president. 20th century ki hongo lakum matanda. Ato pa economist sa matho gai. Another economist uh, comes up in the center of uh, the world. He is known as Alfred Marcel. <coughs> he is very famous. Another very famous oiba yam na mamik chatpa economist amani. This Alfred Marcel gave a definition of, he gave us another definition of economics, but I'm not going to write the definition of that given by Alfred Marcel. That's a paragraph long. Paragraph Amahina Sang Yam Sangi, so we, we, we don't need that. Actually, this Alfred Marshall 
the definition given by Alfred Marshall is known as welfare economics hairga khangnei aduna welfare definition of economics hairga khangnei so for today I wish the class yao bagi ngasi gi point ahum khangnei kadi no father point ahum watanati miyamong khangrei who is known as the father of economics Adam Smith and in which year I mean in which year can you consider economics was formally started 1776 as I've told you this is one of the newest subject economics have a arts marakta ki su science marakta ki su phaidagi nova subject ni 1776 after that which book is considered as the foundation of economics karamba book book economics ki foundation ni hainakhan gado ino haimatanda the wealth of the nation the certain form the long form is an inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of the nation okay point number three later point number four da according to adam smith he considered that economics is study of wealth in another word he gave emphasis on wealth only but as i have told you it was correct around 300 years ago but not now now uh, we have different economics definition that Leonel Robbins is more acceptable. Do the quick do the yare. Mangasugre. Now, second definition is given by Leonel Robbins, another economist, and the definition given by him is most accepted. Yam accepted oi, Fadigan accepted oi. The definition given by this Leonel Robbins is known as the scarcity definition. Well, definition, scarcity definition. Now we come to the last definition given by Alfred Marshall. Alfred Marshall na piva definition though. Madhubuna, that is known as welfare definition of economics. And don't forget, high diva welfare definition jay. This welfare economics is the area in which Amrita Sen also got Nobel Prize. Nam yareko. So for today, you have understand about 10 points. Point tara khangau rabani. Aduna point point is laga khamo. It's up to you. Are. <coughs> Mayamgi Oinadi. Yes, as I've told you, uh, most likely you are appearing for graduate level examination. Graduate level examination ni mayam na appear ta ogodoi she. So in that graduate level examination, this da. Karam karam ba topics ni hena maru oigido no. Which topics do you think will be most important? Karam mar hena topics na maru oigini hai bese. In your yes, uh, yes, as I've told you, I cannot give a specific uh, syllabus pi badi yadre because our examinations are different from a person to another. For example, somebody is going to appear for banking related examination and somebody is going for SS examination, CDS examination, CPF examination, etc. SSB or whatever. But generally, there are some areas are there where you should focus. I will give time to time. Matam matam to give an instruction. And this is the, I mean, introductory part. The, this is just an orientation class. This is not even a normal class, but I'm giving you lots of things. See. Tarigumam bayamna banking ki exam thagadabo oiraba. If you are appearing for banking examination, mind you, you are the one you should concentrate your reading in economics. Tarigumam banking examination thagadabo oiraga di economics padaba sungya yaroi. Aiki class yao gere yao roi Okay. Whether you find my class interesting or not, uh, yes, I will try my best to make you understand. If you do not take economics in class 11 and 12 or graduation level, whatever then I will make sure that you understand by the end of my class, actually by the end of my normal class, not today, okay? By the end of my normal class, definitely I can give you guarantee that you will understand at least some basic idea of how economics works. And for you guys who are appearing for banking examination, it is compulsory, with emphasis at it, it is compulsory. Yes, banking to the economics, once you, uh, uh, fortunately, Panga and Kalone, Pang the way Panga Matani, but Tobu, Panga Matungasu, you are going to apply this banking. Banking in a direct applied or Goduce. Economically direct applied or Goduce. Aduna, that is why for those who are appearing for banking, everything is important. Beginning from microeconomics to the macroeconomics to the foreign exchange to the balance of payment, everything are important. I'm the midst of Yadi. But if you are appearing for SSC examination, yes, there are two SS, lots of SSC examinations are there, but I'm giving you some examples here. If you are appearing for SSC 10 plus 2 examination, everybody you can apply. Don't talk you can appear every examination as much as possible. My honest 
instruction i mean not instruction suggestion my honest suggestion is that appear every examination eligible web examination could you going to apply to like pa be hendar pani maduna he na koi da handi web if you are appearing for 10 plus 2 examination then only basic concept is more than enough sufficient sufficient oi what do you mean by basic concept i mean the for example the idea of national income the idea of monetary policy and idea of fiscal policy and the foreign exchange i i know kara kara sam sam na symbol ta ate ide i cannot give all those things loina ga moi so what about if you are appearing for cds especially koi ge manipur de am thanam se cds yam thai phau bu yam ni yau believe it or not i koi ge yes now this unfortunately we don't have we do not have this physical class it taudre but physical class to ring aida okay i'm telling you the truth physical class to ring aida koi ge evemal de ge gfc ki class ta banking da ni khang de ssc ki cds ta ni khang de ten plus every batch khudi ge ahum mari ahum mari adum yau pass to adum yau aduna ma'am koi gi marak sida yes i koi ke am yau ko doina haibudi khang de but definitely uh, in our batch somebody will definitely get passed so iduna jo khara di keno di taugani aduna manipur da cds e yam na thai success rate chu yam wangi tayar wan sidi go cds ki tayar wan sidi kari heba ota gumba officers training academy ota da di as manipur ma sa yam thi thina yam phawe so everyone as i have told you repeatedly i'm suggesting you this is my honest suggestion whether you follow it or not it's up to you but having some experience ai you know cds the ota the my am phaugi yam phaugi stays one the am phaugi yes stays to the it depends on your personality to some extent also but stays one the tire one the this is very very young now success rate am wangi in this cds basic idea of micro se khara khara hangi not so much like regarding the concept of revenue post etc some of them are not yam na ke no to arubadi ke sukhang de after that this same sidai sidai muk lai basic ta national income basics monetary policy this in this combined graduate level natragana cds kumbada basic atani again combined graduate level cgl the it's a little bit okay na sai combined graduate level hai do correct in this cds this are also basics only basic basic khatam hange definition gumba then terminology or the difference between etc like that very simple honestly this combined graduate level cgl examination is little bit tough tougher compared to the 10 plus 2 and cds cds ota to be specific and is a comparison to the cgl kitam a little bit tough not so much the the yes uh, the area the area of asking question remains the same to the the depth of question is little bit diff kitang oi in this cgl combined visual level kitang diff oi so it's up to you may i am prepared to work on the zoom switch company is up to you repeatedly uh keep on appearing every possible eligible examination could be appeared to the money uh don't forget that uh cannot ask how the tab of canada did that no don't say that no no uh experience later later can look at the money practice to the can look we have a point that success will be our point that uh when you appear one examination don't forget that is simply an kind of a practice practice in a color uh no no she don't get happy to go under the focus person and figure the money anyway as a city later to put up as i've told you banking you were about this is compulsory banking hi matanda i'm including your uh kari hai ba ibps and clerical examination also i be ibps yam na miyam na thana ba exam more to put up i could get po gi oi na di i could get po gi exam gi oi na di we do not include this in our gfc ki class to ngana to de to put up lots of ideas are there in our because we have this different po gi oi na to ngana bi lai but the the topics that we are covering in this gfc class i think is gfc ki class the yaw bisin ja there are more than 80% of the po gi examination which they the yam yaw ro bani so this is gfc i have said yes uh, yes this is combination of all examination tabu tabu we are going to let down the foundation for almost every exam kodi mi to godini even for your uh, entrance exam how bigi oi no it will be very very much beneficial anyway aduna banking ki tawga haiba taraga di economy sidina compulsory 101% compulsory aduna yes uh, i don't know which examination you, you are going to appear let's do we have about 9 days ai ki class e keno da non main class it's about 7 days in the offline class because we have this some you know uh, 
hana di class 7 khatang lawi tobada bu online class e kitang effective oi ba wali hai dana ikhoi ki director na ikhoi ki kainona institution sina now increases to nine class nine class e hingat pase yam thina phai because i will be able to cover lots of topic yam important oi ba topic maya ama cover to bangam dani so this is good for us yam phai hena khale let's see thare First of all, okay, I think I could get a pet karam karam ba banking na tara kari paato ino hai pe to hai pet khanga bani na. As I've told you in our normal class, we will discuss a lot about this. Exam exam to ki matu ki na hangbo question mo ongbo. The nature of asking question also we will do that. And even we will have this discussion of the previous year question. Previous year question discuss to gani. Yes, in economics, that is also topic related. Topic related, not like. No, two thousand seven in the economics ke hangi basi gani hai na tauri. No, no, no. I, I, I don't like that. For example, I will talk about this national income, and I will bring out some previous year question in the banking, in the SSC, in the CGA, CGL, CDS, etc., which were asked in this topic national income like that. Adu main tauri na national income tauri matam the national income the hangi basi question. Monetary policy the adu main tauri na we will we will talk about that. Hai yeng matam tu yoro kaan the yeng chi. Uh, but uh, for, don't forget, Matamdu uh, Yorong Matamdu Di, we will do a lot about Mayama Matamdu. Anyway, what are the topics? Mostly, as I have told you, generally important when you talk about topics in the Kari Kari, no? what are the topics? For general, not particular, but for general. Idea of national income. Idea of national income. Almost everyone knows what you mean by national income to some extent. Extend kara tabu dikhangi. That, but that some extent is not enough for the competitive examination. Competitive exam ki hoy na di. That level of to some extent is not kano tau de tarkar hoy de enough hoy de. That is why we will talk about in this national income. We will talk about how national income is calculated in India. Who is calculating the national income of India? What are the different values of national income? There are eight values are there. Eight. There are eight values of national income are there. We are going to do that one by one. Don't worry, I will finish within 20 minutes. And without compromising my quality also. We will talk about the national income, idea of national income, the methods of calculation of national income, the values associated with this national income, etc. Real national income, nominal national income, what is the effect of national income by this inflation, etc. After this, we will also talk about the idea of money and banking. As I told you, money and banking is the banking has to be out Actually, money and banking is nothing. You PSC level the equina monetary policy It's the same monetary policy at UPSC level. We do even at the policy level, the macroeconomics policy level. But for us, we will talk about the basics of the money idea of money how banking takes place what are the different aspects associated with the banking what are the terminologies associated with the banking etc etc we, we, we are going to take time here next one is government budget government budget actually if you have book uh if you have any reference book if you are reading in the newspaper also sometimes this is also known as fiscal policy so we have two types of policy in the country two types of macroeconomic policy in the country one is known as monetary policy another one is known as fiscal policy monetary policy fiscal policy this is what we are going to do and don't forget this is the two area where we are going to spend lots of time especially in this money and banking I'm not saying atopa is important with the habit, but relatively, I'm speaking relatively, this is the area where we are going to spend lots of time. Theory of money, say, yam bas oikrani. This is so vast. Like, for example, nowadays we have this idea of cryptocurrency, we have the idea of this blockchain technology, we have the idea of this iridium, bitcoin, etc. etc. What else not? Those coin. We are talking about this evolution of money, so we are going to take lots of time here. When we this about this, my mind dog press the lock of Yes, it will be a little bit twisty uh, for those who have not taken economics. Economics low the money when we talk about this monetary policy, it will be a little, you know, dry. But I will try my best so that you, you understand at least the basic. Don't worry. After this, 
we will be talking about the idea of inflation. What do you mean by inflation? How inflation affect our living condition? How inflation affect our uh, salary, the prices level, how inflation is calculated, etc. Next, we will be talking about the idea of foreign exchange. Like, how today one dollar is equal to 70. I'm just taking an example. Actually, this is not 70. One, today is one dollar equal to 70. Tomorrow it becomes one dollar equal to 72. How this 72 rupees comes? What are the forces? The forces behind who is determined whether it will be 70 or 72 or 75 or whatever, any kind of change. In short, how this valuation takes place? What is the effect of this valuation? Causes, effect, the whole mechanism will be done in this foreign exchange. After that, we will be also talking about the idea of balance of, okay, of balance of payment. See, whenever the idea of balance of payment comes up, people always think that import export finish. Yes, that is correct. 1%, 99%. Is left. When we talk about this balance of payment, we are talking about not only import and export, but lots of other transactions. I'm using this word transaction with emphasis at that because this transaction may be unilateral transaction OBI, not regular, it may be two way fundamentally two way inter interaction OBI. So this transaction, all those transactions, either it is a unilateral, bilateral, multilateral, everything are going to include in this idea of balance of payment. Balance of payment. After that, efficient if we are able to do our class very efficiently, efficiently apart from this balance of payment, it depends on you. Okay. It depends on your response. For example, if your response is high or other I'm going to cover lots of other ideas. For example, the idea of unemployment, idea of what do you mean by <clears throat> what do you mean by uh, unemployment, different types of unemployment? What are the pro policy programs of the government associated with the unemployment? If it is, if you are very effective, in my in our class, we can also include the idea of human development, HDI, etc. Actually, HDI have said that human development. How human development is calculated, which association, international organizations are uh, calculating this human development. What is the level of human development in India? And idea of poverty, I suppose you have heard of this poverty line. Manipur poverty line, I say, Karino. Actually, right now we have this NAPSA, NFSA, NAPSA. Manipur, abbreviations are interpreted in a different way. Like MGNREGA, job card. National Food Security Act, NAPSA. Okay, we have a different way of interpretation. That is very funny, but you know, uh, easy to understand for us. It's actually, this poverty, poverty ki matang is that we have heard of this poverty line. Poverty line ki matang tarif. But have you heard of this uh, Tendulkar Committee, Rangarajan Committee? Okay. Dumai Taudana, Hasim Committee. So all these things comes under the poverty line. How poverty line is determined in India? What is the level of poverty with respect to another country? All those ideas will be covered in this poverty, idea of poverty. Like this, as I've told you, this two, three, four, lots of points can be included, but it depends on your response. No response. So, but our focus will be national income, money and banking, government budget. Don't forget this money and banking. This is the heart and soul of every uh, examination. Questions. I, what, whatever exam you appear, definitely one question will come here. Inflation, foreign exchange, this will be very interesting because people do, generally do not have idea of this foreign exchange. Even if they do have, uh, the idea is not clear. Clear, we are going to explain about this foreign exchange, balance of payment, etc. All these things, if we have time and if your response is good, I can include lots of other points also. It depends on you. May I point uh, responses depend on right? But generally, I used to give homeworks. Okay, you might be wondering, you are we are not kids. Why? I'm giving you homeworks to show that I mean to I'm just trying to understand whether you are able to understand the idea or not. Idea to understand the Oprah Because at, at least uh, our objective is to get successful. Exam appear to the successful So to, to, to get that. To to, uh, to risk our objective, we have to do something extra mild. Don't don't forget, 
uh, one becomes successful not doing something extraordinary but doing things a little bit differently so let's do a little bit differently i know for other uh, coaching centers and for other subjects they don't have this kind of uh, homework but i'm going to give homework and i'm going to do tests also on the basis of this last year examination questions last year examination question to be topic wise if possible topic wise i don't think topic wise be possible we don't mind uh, two three topics so topic wise i'm going to conduct text test also online test ni offline but unfortunately because of this condition we may not be able to do that so we are going to have tests and etc anyway uh, these are the things that we are going to cover in economics economics but uh, after break i'm going to cover i'm going to tell you the basic idea of uh, some topics like this national income university topic explain so but in the meantime if you have any question you can rise up uh, question hung by but uh, we will have 10 minutes break right now it is uh, 735 we have 10 minutes break i will be back at exactly 745 okay uh welcome back again uh, uh, nishikanta ki question to the go like your recommendation in matans this the economic hook to give in a lady hi but are the day like uh, like depending on karamba exam how do you know how to take a single exam to give me a labor the pay to go to from institution is high to give material and pigany actually this material will be extremely useful uh printed material ni uh, basics of economics and higher account almost almost all the topics that you are going to uh, i mean pass in the examination that will be included including explanation also aduna nishikanta ki doi duda karamba books pa gadoi no hai bese karamba books recommend to dino hai bese i don't know exactly when i mention to tor pre karamba kari no hai bese ko kari exam no hai bese to for graduation level exam ki oina di i koina khang na institution na khang na materials i koina keno to re custom in a same account the topic important over topic sing hung the exam the twin hunger to pitching yeah i could include or can the same of the time ready the time uh it will be provided as soon as for the classic hobo guy and mission head to woman the provide them to win it other now on the first day itself uh cannot talk about the economy is a monday the holy hand of color most likely those who are admitted hey we're missing out before monday the other materials and no rule law oh i don't know so i don't know how to so that material will be more than enough to put the book that's in the site on the puzzle again I could not be able to not about a quick institution decide to give I have worked in different institution but the thing is that in here in this well every month putting issue on current affairs key of that low we are going to it's free of course free of course the printed material the low we are going to but can you say quickly to analyze a high but are ready make book I don't like any make book publication make book I don't like any make book later see I not they're gonna it can be Hoji Sanjib Burma ki Indian economy layer shi ai Sanjib Burma si amna dum pai nai adu ka Macbook M A G Macbook Macbook hai na hai na bato ko Arihan ki ni Arihan publication ki Macbook kano se nishikan tak khang ani ko ishana lai ki hai rakadi Arihan ki Macbook tuma pai ro na tragana Sanjib Burma ki Indian economy most preferably Arihan ki Macbook to pai ro adu ka yare to bo to bo esa abdo liu economy hai vise yamna yamna bhas oid bo po ni na if we give material quickly admission head to woman the man and mission at the class of the name among the data definitely we are going to give that material handed out material the printed out material the ready ready many actually that ready made will be more useful you know i'm at the this will be very compact yam tino compact or any and the material that we are providing is custom one according to our can also be exams again but to me now so i don't know custom when i see him materially now this will be more handy or any but i you can buy one Arihan ke megbook to leishu ka shukai te. Thare atopa inquiry da atopa se laitre. Okay, lari ki maming ore si din. Okay, thare. Anyway. Now. Well. Now. As I've told you. Nga si ki. Kano si deish da introductory class oi bata raga su. Orientation class oi bata raga su. Let's do something useful. Yes, we have more than about 56 people here. I could use the 56 participant like I don't know how much of you are going to be part of our normal class or not. I don't know about that. But my am a time guy talk to now. Time is also a resource. My time guy talk to now. I see class. Yeah, we can have a current. Did you see whether you will be our student or not? We don't care. I don't care. You can be 
a part of our normal class or not we, we are still we are still going to do something useful for today kana bakhara tokse let's do za to you i could be problem ama head coming by area ama yaure haina khalo specific topic or su chat box ta ma'am dum ibiro i will i will be i will be trying to answer that now i could be money hai ba idea se this is what generally i am ma tamda mayam na kano to ba area oigan bani masi se money hai ba se economics ta karam hai na how do you define money money se karam hai na define to go do it's very you know interesting one yam interesting oiba kano ma oi the thing is that when we say money okay let me ask this question to you guys don't answer me you don't need to answer me answer pirak to sukai kai dai if you want to answer answer me in the chat what is money i am giving you two minutes what is money let's see money have se karino okay actually uh, yes okay according to nongdongan ba it says that medium of exchange don't forget money ina hangba matamda i know lots of uh, lots of you, all of you have answer like for example uh, say taungam uh, horam you are also correct this is a medium of exchange yes that is correct but you know <clears throat> you guys are literate you guys are educated enough to understand the difference between medium of exchange and coins and currency okay it might be it's a quite meaningless to you but you know you ask your parents i know you have parents okay i'm not saying all the parents but those unfortunate parents our parents my parents are also uneducated i koi ki uneducated oi ba illiterate oi ba i koi ki keno sing do parents sing do adu da hango what is money hai ba matam da ne they will give only one answer one and only one answer there is coins and currency whenever i ask this question money to you guys even you educated guys the first thing comes to your mind are coins and currency the currency where gandhi smiles mahatma gandhi smiles the coins who says that legal and illegal dum tole do that is what we always keep on remembering whenever we say money i'm not saying that is wrong but nowadays in this modern world in this modern world when we say money is the uh, yes nishikant uh, nahai yes according to nishikant it's an asset now don't forget from today onwards from this moment onwards according to economics from economics point of view when we say money we do not refer to a particular coins and currency no we don't refer to coins and currency only but we refer to anything mark my word anything anything valuable according to nishikant the assets yes that is correct anything valuable which is medium of exchange finish do it let me wrap up my idea for common people money refers to coins and currency only but according to economics from economics point of view money refers to anything which acts as a medium of exchange anything aduga nishikanta kaino maga clarify to ge don't forget money do not refer to assets only no 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 we don't refer to assets only why i'm saying this kari you know in hari sir here is an example look here especially for nishikanta because you answered assets this currency i'm just i'm just i'm just trying to represent that 500 notes this rupees 500 note lupat chamanga se this 500 notes se she se how can you say that this is money money ne hai to say kari no actually you cannot say that i am using this word you cannot say this 500 note as asset asset ne hai bi yaar hoy no ah uh, so you don't want to agree with me yes you don't want to agree with me i know i know i know why 500 rupees hai ba sir the kind of money that we have in this modern world are known as fiat money hai ba khangne or this is also known as token money hai ba khangne so when we talk about this money formally to matamda we will talk about the credit money fiat money token money full body money etc lots of money are there 
But you know, I know sick terms in your mention to drink my mom that you don't know what you mean by money. Whenever I say money, you always try to remember the coins and currency where the Gandhi smiles. That's it. But I'm telling you, money is an idea. Money is an idea. This idea can be applied to both asset or non asset also. I'm going to say that. <clears throat> I'm going to say that this 500 currency is a kind of an idea. Actually, the physical value of this money is zero. Nearly zero. I cannot say zero, but nearly zero. But I'm saying this. See, this 500 rupees is printed on a piece of paper. Paper on the print. In a piece of paper. Uh, yes, that paper might be a little bit different from the normal paper. That paper might be manufacturing using the wood from Britain, whatever it is. But still, this is a paper. If this 500 rupees not is there, if Gandhi is not printed here, if the security features are not printed here, what it becomes now? It's just a piece of paper. Ma'am, if you have a piece of, okay, I, everybody have it, so I don't need to show you. Ma'am, for example, let's, if you look at the book, look at the, you can see the Paisada Muni in Batargadi. Just right side of the Mahatma Gandhi ki picture to the right side, the, there is a very small wordings are there. It says that I promise to peer. I, I'm, I'm emphasizing this word. Okay. I promise to pay the bearer. I promise to pay the bearer a sum of 500 rupees. Why? Why these words are printed here? And who is this I? I has a kanano. I stating this i is the one who is rbi governor in my in my in my uh, in my uh, example it is uh, urjit patel so this i is the rbi governor in another word this is an asset at the very beginning i told you money is an idea what is this idea i am rbi governor you guys are the common people no is a common people have a scholarship I am giving you a piece of paper with certain specific security features and numbers and a picture. And I am asking you to accept this as a paper. And in return, I am giving you my guarantee. I am promising you that the value of that piece of paper will be considered as 500. And I am giving you my guarantee. I will maintain the value. This is an idea. Money is an idea given by the central bank given by that step to the holder you are the holder you have 500 rupees you are the holder so see now our class is not yet started but now by now when i say this meaning of money how different it is from what we understand that is why at the beginning i told you that the value of this piece of paper the value of this 500 is not as an handle over yadri yadri you know how much in this currency 500 days there are two values are there which is one is known as face value haiba ama one another is known as intrinsic value haiba ama there are two types of values are there see face value haiba targadi the 500 rupees which is printed in this piece of paper what is the intrinsic value the intrinsic value is the real value of the product used to represent money this piece of paper is used to represent money. But what is the exact value of this piece of paper? Piece of paper is value of this piece of paper. It is nearly zero. Zero is not zero. Still, you might, be able to, you might not be able to grasp my idea. Idea as a grasp, even if it is, even if you, if you are able to understand, it may not be. Let me give you another example. By this second example, you will definitely able to understand. Look here. Look very carefully, okay? But but for the time being, you should understand the meaning of this two word. Has value has value is the number which is printed on that piece of paper or whatever it is. Intrinsic this is the real value of that product, of that thing which is used to represent money. Meaning to come on, look here. There is a 10 rupees coin. Lupataragi coin that I am very bad at drawing things. So just consider this is a coin. Whatever. This is a 10 rupees coin. Actually, what is the face value of this 10 rupees? The face value here is 10 rupees. 10 rupees is printed. Let's do something together. 
hai ba 10 rupees ki coin se khang thang ka laga mai thara se mai thara se now let's melt it down this 10 rupees i don't know what is this metal metal to kari ko no i am not a science guy so i don't know this name so after melting this 10 rupees coin now it is becomes a ball of metal nothing else matum da ba metal am on thoi hai riba metal do hai riba 10 rupees lairi ngai siga it is the same same weight same compound what is that compound i don't know okay same compound it remains the same but if you have this uh, this lump of metal and go to the market and says that this is 10 rupees coin will anybody accept this anybody accept this definitely no kanam ta accept to roi there comes we know one thing actually this metal and this metal are the same actually the the futures may be a little bit different but in terms of weight in terms of compound in terms of chemical everything is same but why this is not accepted except with this you know because the real value at this value of this lump of metal is not 10 rupees 10 rupees nothing the real value of this piece of metal you would cook the plastic labor oh i know love a lot of the part of the kg all of you on the loop of oxygen load let's say the number one to people not i work for the machine and color this is the actual value of this metal intrinsic value actually i sort of it this is the intrinsic value see from this we know one thing as i've told you money is an idea we have a thinking that this piece of metal a circular piece of metal is rupees 10 how do you say this is an idea stuck to our head because we have been used to for the last 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 generations but actually if you break down this idea you will realize that there are two values are there phase value and intrinsic value actually for this piece of paper for this metal there are always two values phase value and intrinsic value if almost every 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 money that we have right now in our surrounding these values this intrinsic value is far 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 lower than that of the face value face value the yam thing the name that is why uh nishikanta that is why i do not want to refer money as an asset asset i not refer to the palm dev yes it may be asset for some particular condition but not always not always okay no that yam chamsan giroi si mam ngau na bani but <clears throat> very interestingly nishikanta i am giving you one reason why i don't want to call money as asset another reason I suppose we have heard of this virtual money nowadays. Okay, virtual money has a lalik. Uh, yes, virtual money is a little bit different from the uh, this cryptocurrencies. I suppose you have heard of this blockchain technology. If you are ones who have this technology, I don't know much about this technology. Yes, I don't know much about this. But if you are a gadget guy, if you are a computer guy, then you should understand the meaning of this, uh, this uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. See. This modern world is crazy about this Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, etc. Why? But you know, if you look, yes, in India, this is illegal. Yes, unfortunately, in, illegal, in India, this is not legal. At the same time, this is not illegal also. This is very uncertain in India. In other countries, it is becoming such a crazy that they are, they are running after the Bitcoins. Bitcoins never ever existed in physical form never it existed it, it exists in virtual forms only then this virtual form i will say virtual forms are that is very valuable but it is far far different from the traditional idea of money that is why the idea of that asset i will say it's very complicated to explain when we come to our real economics you will realize how why i'm saying all these things yes i'm giving you the tips only Tips, tips, Katani. I'm telling you only the tips of an iceberg. All those different things we will discuss later on. Oh, no. So, I don't know. Uh, you go. If yes, you might be, as I've told you repeatedly, uh, if you are part of our normal class, we will do this. If you are not part of us, still, still, uh, yes, because of your financial reasons and etc., uh, you may not be able to be part of our class, but it's okay. Uh, but the thing is that. You should read about this cryptocurrency. This will be our future. Don't forget. Don't ever forget. Now there's modern form of coins and currency. Now we have these cryptos. 
cryptocurrency like which is cryptocurrency again another derivative of cryptocurrency is there i don't know whether you have heard of it there is another form of money is there which is known as non-fungible tokens nfts again this is becoming yes this is a little bit uh, too much futuristic idea actually this is another form of future money and i'm not saying it will be the okay it may be the i don't know I, I really i don't know because this is at a very 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 nascent stage so this idea of non-fungible tokens is another idea of this uh, money future money ki matangani so uh, if you are going to appear for, appear for examination don't forget read how this cryptos works what is the basic idea of this blockchain as i've told you masiki blockchain ja actually this blockchain technology uh, people with uh, it background will able to understand this very easily blockchain technology of the company for myself honestly i myself find it very hard to understand this blockchain technology because i don't have that much about technical knowledge so blockchain technology say in the on the basis of uh, blockchain technology we have these cryptos cryptocurrencies ethereum bitcoins dogecoin whatever known cryptos now cryptocurrency is that some man about oina another derivative of this blockchain technology cryptocurrency is non-fungible tokens nft don't forget i don't know i don't know but in other countries this nft is going crazy this is going crazy oh google this may i'm telling you google this you will find it so i'm telling you just basics this is the blockchain Banking in Matang is the coin of the Ubisha Karino of teams. Everybody knows RBI. But we don't know about the relationship between RBI and different banks. Bank, a top of banks in the RBI relationship to be. We don't know much about that. For example, RBI in Makata, we have these scheduled banks, SCBs, and the non scheduled bank, hydrally. Under this schedule bank, again, we have two types. There is commercial and non-commercial. This is what we are going to do. In this non-commercial, we have four types of banks are there. But basically, in our monetary policy, we will be talking about the relationship between schedule commercial bank and RBI. RBI is a schedule commercial bank relationship. Though. That's what we are going to target. Because most of your examination, especially the banking related examination, they are going to ask the relationship between SCBs and RBI. Sometimes, very rarely, sometimes they used to ask about the regional rural bank RRBs, about some question comes regarding the RRBs, regional rural bank, etc. But the Buddha, most of our focus will be concentrated in the relationship between RBI and Central Commercial Bank. And it's concentrated. Let me ask you one question. I will give the answer itself. If you are able to find, uh, if you are able to guess the answer, write in the chat. Can you consider RBI as people's bank? Simple yes or no. Write simple yes or no. Can you consider RBI as people's bank? People's bank have a Yagadra considered over Yagadra. You have one minute. Okay, one minute. Let's see. My question is okay. Ah, fortunately for us. Yes. Definitely. Ma'am, fortunately for me, uh, because you met my tax very easy, your all your answers are correct. No. Don't forget this. Okay. No. RBI cannot be considered as people's bank. People's bank have a yadiv. Karigino. Because RBI can be considered as a government's bank, banker's bank, but not people's bank. Why? Normal person, like you and me, normal person cannot have banking relationship with RBI directly. No. No, 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 that is not allowed. They are banker's bank. They are government's bank, but they are not public's bank. Don't forget this. We have this kind of confusion. Confusion currently. Yes, fortunately for us, BPN and uh, all those, all of you guys are correct. That is, RBI is not bankers' bank. But how this relationship, how this schedule commercial banks, how this schedule commercial banks are able to function even if they don't have money? 
For example, right now, the government, okay, I'm telling you something, uh, at Karen, happening right now in Manipur. Right now, I have heard of, about this because this is my task to update. Uh, right now, in about one month, uh, around 20, 20 days, for this about 20 days, I have an update. Manipur government said, finance is not revenue is not high. But for those who don't have economics, just read newspaper, they don't understand about this. But for us, we know that even if the government of Manipur do not have any revenue, still government of Manipur will be able to run. Run the wedding on grave. Because RBI is the government's bank. And if the government of India or the government of Manipur needs money, that government will be allowed to withdraw more money than they have. RBI, the, the government of Manipur have their account. A current account is there. High river account to the labor balance stock. More than money they have in their account, they will be allowed to withdraw more money. See, imagine this. Because of this mechanism, government is able to run properly. But nobody knows this. Because uh, generally people think that, yes, we have money, we can withdraw it. But we don't know that governments, either central or the state government, will be allowed to money withdraw more money than they have. Admin, lots of mechanisms are there that we don't understand. Regarding this banking, banking because uh, we have different stages of banking. May I come from Bram Ting? Yeah, because uh, as, as I told you, the uh, ours is interactive. Can you talk about the Shunya? Yeah, there you are, you are spending money, word it, make it word it. Okay, thus I'm writing a Chahi Ani Iraqia. Tell me the significance of these two years 1969. Okay, I'm Why 1969 is important? Just write the terminologies in the chat box. Really, uh, yes, I'm talking about banking. Yes, banking. Ah, enough, enough, enough tips are given. Why 1969 is important? You have 30 seconds. Right it. It's okay. No one. Okay, okay. No answer comes. Regarding the banking in India, this 1969 is important. Yam important. Kaubya de Mayam Kaubya de. 1969 is the year in which social social banking in India starts. Write this down. Okay, whether you continue or not, write this down. Regarding this money and banking in Matang, we are talking about this banking specifically. This in this banking, the year 1969 is very, very significant. Uh, yes, yes, correct. Uh, yes, Memto is correct. This 1969 is known as the year in which we have social banking. What do you mean by social banking? Social banking is nothing in terms of our terminologies. This is known as nationalization. Nationalization, I basically you know. Okay, let me tell you, let me go back a little bit from 1969. 1969, Okay, okay. Sir. Uh, then, uh, hold on a moment. Uh, our director is here. Uh, he wants to convey some message for about 10 minutes. So, Yani, sir. Okay, now, um, welcome back again. Uh, let's try to bridge the topic that i have told you i was talking a little bit about this banking uh, yes the year 1969 is known as the year of nationalization but don't forget the nationalization day in the other this is not one time but the one which happened in the year 1969 was the first nationalization of the country's private banks again in the year 1980s the, we have this second nationalization of banks in india Okay, now the thing is that as I've told you at the very beginning, let's go be a little bit back. 1947, the Indiana Independent Hek Thangbadagi beginning from 1947 till the year 1947, we were having banks, but all those banks, I'm using this word, all those banks were private banks. Private banks, not to wait. 
Not a single pub public government owned banks were there till 1969. Something is there. See, if an economy, if we want to increase the development rate of the economy, then access to the affordable credit is so important. important. Actually, credit when we talk about this credit, there are two sources of credit are there. Formal source of credit and informal source of credit. This formal source of credit constitutes the banks, the scheduled commercial banks, and the several group, the cooperatives, etc. Private banks, okay, un unscheduled, okay, uh, informal banks are those uh, like, for example, the billets money lender, the, if you borrow money from the friends, etc., etc., relatives. But in this, let me be banks in law, all of them are private banks. Private banks not to order me. At a time where in India, actually, this is not an exact figure. Uh, till 1969 times, there were more than about 500 private banks are there. But see, private, being a private, their main objective is to earn profit and nothing else. Aduna, these banks, they used to give loans only to the people who have the credit worthiness. Like, for example, the mutual businessman, it may be a mutual or a friend circle, the people this problem still continues don't forget in the year 2015 da, we have this jandan yojana you may not understand the significance of this jandan yojana manipur today is up to you in manipur we use this different you know it's a very funny to know but actually it's okay manipur da jandan yojana zero balance account floor finis zero balance account actually this jandan yojana is allowing the aadhar card holder to up to open an account at zero balance zero balance the account hang on the yabdo madhubuni kwen jandhan yojana hain hai i'm really sure that most of the people don't understand the significance of the zero balance account what is the use they do bhai no kai gana dino hain khan khalambi actually this is very very ambitious project okay extremely useful uh, yes we will talk more about this Actually, if you allowed any person without any money to open their account in a bank, zero balanced account, then we are trying to bring about inclusiveness. Okay, this is known as financial inclusion. See, if you are appearing for the banking, this financial inclusion is must. Bank Sati, Jandan Yojana, etc. So financial inclusion, this financial inclusion is inclusion is a hot topic right now at UPSC level. Anyway, as I have told you, just introduction. See, if you borrow money from the private banks, the interest rate is so high, forget about interest rate being high. Simply, these private banks were not lending money to the people. No. Otherwise, you know, engine of growth, okay, engine of growth are not the politicians, are not the factory, are not all other institutions. In Jinn of Goat Highway Matamda, we refer to the financial system of the country. Don't forget this. Financial system, the yam strong, whatever. In that financial system, there is inclusiveness. What does that mean? Is that if we allow other people to enter the financial system and I provide the money at very cheap rate, yam not cheap, whatever rate to provide over Taragadi, then that is known as financial inclusion. And only at that time, that country does. Manipur, let's take the example of our own state, Manipur itself. See, I know, I, I, I don't know exactly you guys, uh, face to face, you see, uh, might be some of you are from the privileged family, for you it may not be an issue, but I'm talking about Manipur as a general. Generally, people, a common person, when you approach the bank to take a loan, that's a kind of a Herculean tax. Taking loan from a bank is kind of a Herculean tax in Manipur. I'm, I'm talking about Manipur, but it is the same for an uh, overall India. See, now I'm still a rising I call me a little rising jar. Karigumba banky loan door. Yam line a low way. Yava targeting it. Two minutes to Kishu Karamtali Rui. Karamtali Rui. Like, for example, if you are, if you get the access to the bank, bank loan very easily without this paperwork and cumbersome process, etc. Then definitely, my am dukan pamani khangde, hotel hang pamani khangde. Naturally, if you have some technical knowledge, you will start opening the kari uh, hebao computer repairing shop hang. No, you don't know. Taudrishya kari gino, you do not have money. 
that source of money the financial system right now in manipur that is also not inclusive what do you mean what does that mean they allowed specific people to get loaned very easily if we common people approach to that bank it becomes so tough yam na kambar som oi ba hak ta har kulen tax ki type to toi aduna there is why at right now we are dominated by the public bank public bank china dominate to was swam lu ra china di matam do the private bank na dominate to matam di we are talking about before 1969 at the time there was no public bank only private banks were there imagine that condition do the condition do imagine to forget about interest rate being high but simply you are simply not allowed to enter this market aduna there was zero nothing no growth was there expectation of growth was zero the it ever came to aduna because our access to the formal source of credit is very crucial for the growth of the country government of india by the end of this 1960s realized that oh we need to open people's accessibility to the formal source formal source the open to the yara ro has come here but unfortunately all the banks were controlled by the private individuals especially the rich people yam na paisa pai mi khara khatana control loire ko tole re aduna government okay this uh, during 1960s time it was ruled by kari uh, heba kari indira gandhi indira gandhi na panma matam ni indira gandhi realizes that oh if i koi ki economy se private bank akta leba taraga di there will be no growth there will be no accessibility to the formal source of credit people will be discouraged to do whatever they want because of this lack of accessibility that is why in the year 1969 under this indira gandhi na with iron hands yam thina sathi gre ani unlike other any government yes she is criticized for many reasons but because of her firm stand this nationalization was possible if she was karigumba weak oi ramba tarba nationalization will not be possible i will give you one reason here uh, why i am saying this in in fact why i am saying this it may not be possible if she was weak actually those private banks owner singe those owner of the private banks were the same person who finance our freedom struggle iman imagine that ai koi ki freedom struggle do finance to ba kangbu singuna own to ba bank singe imagine that india ki during freedom struggle more than about 100 years history of freedom struggle to ba matam this da we needed lots of money paisa mai am darkar tai hai ba paisa sing do all those money comes from the bire yam na paisa pai ba parsi family and zamindars and the road warriors etc all those people singe and these banks private banks of those 1947 to 1960 times were controlled by the same person who finance our kari haba freedom struggle so actually if political will leram da ta ra gadina indira gandhi na machine nationalization to sumong ngam hoy but as you know indira gandhi is so firm aduki mati yam firm hoy she is iron lady truly she is the iron lady and because of her firmness she did not listen to anyone and actually there is an interesting story regarding this indira gandhi ki finance minister cha at a time during 1969 the the finance minister of indira gandhi was a parsi p a r s i parsi na india ki quite ki paisa pai ba kangu se parsi family and this parsi family all almost owned all the private banks in the country acho jo private banks the parsi family no own to we adoi to da indira gandhi says that i am going to nationalize imagine that i am going to nationalize i am saying this but my uh, finance minister is the parsi and he is also one of those people who are controlling this private banks that is why this high ba parsi ki uh, i forgot his name finance minister do maduga indira gandhi ka last class tho kanda he will uh, form another political party she is so firm what i am saying is she is so firm so because of that she nationalized the private bank in the government mein simply what do you mean by nationalization hai bata raha hai simply this is the process where private banks are converted into public own government own banks the convert to do ne but okay i am going to stop here i know we have already crossed the time i know but in the year 1996 okay sorry sorry in the year 1969 we have first nationalization in the year 1980 we have the second nationalization whatever happened in the year 1969 and 1980 will be reversed in the year 1991 this is the beginning of india economics don't forget this we are going to do lots about this narasimham committee financial sector reform 
economic er i mean lpg program er of 1991 lots and lots of changes happened in the year 1991 which is known as the finance economic reform of 1991 in 1991 basically indian economy starts indian economy say basically it starts in the year 1991 because of the er 1991 economy reform of 1991 liberalization privatization globalization lpg program anyway these are just tips of the iceberg as i've told you we have nine days to go i mean uh, in my normal class we will do a lot those uh may have the interest of the uh, in case you know i really worry about this time because you guys yes you may think that uh, one day or another so you know but time is very limited uh as soon as possible may i'm not join toxin bureau equity class of doing toxin bureau but uh in my class i will do honestly i will do my best so that at least you will have a whether you are right or average or below average if you join my class uh, regularly holds nine days definitely i can guarantee you you will understand the basic working of the economics having said that uh class to the admission to biro i cannot say you admission to have yade you decide it decision is yours decide very wisely so but don't waste time matam di mahan gano we are going to start our uh, class from monday onwards no delay for that so any uh, anyway my name is lokeshwar kasham signing out here wishing you all the best let's meet uh, on another day if you are part of it thank you